Alright guys, so this one is a little embarrassing. Uh, so this is the water return pipe for the setup I purchased. Uh, the previous owner very kindly cleaned the tank out really well and um, pulled out this pipe um, and cleaned it for me. Uh, and I was, I, I was under the impression that I just have to slap this back on. Um, basically, there's the, the drill hole, I think it's like inch and a half. Put this through, right? And then underneath the tank, I just have to screw this back on. With the glass, with the, with the glass in between these two plastic parts, um, and then everything should be good. So, as you have guessed, uh, it started leaking really slowly. Good thing that I tested out first, I added just like a glass of water, so it's tiny a little bit. The leak was not fast, but it's, it's a drip. It's like drip, 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 drip like this. And coming from a reef tank, I'm like, holy crap, this is not good. Uh, so again, uh, this is the water return pipe. Basically, there'll be a tube here. It will connect to the water pump. Water's gonna pump through this pipe, PVC pipe, and then it's gonna come out of the sprout and go back into the main tank from the sump. So. Again, I um, undid this nut, put this uh, in the overflow, right? With the glass in between them, I just like screwed this on and assumed that was it, and then it developed a leak. So I was freaking out. I was like, oh no, what happened? Like, do I need to buy new parts? You know, I'm terrible at plumbing. So I went online, did some search, and uh, there's some debugging. There, there are like um, speculations on what happens when people post it up saying that the bulkhead is leaking. This is the bulkhead. So some, some suggestion that people gave, including like making sure uh, the glass where this bulkhead is gonna sit on is free of sand and like little rocks because otherwise there's no tight seal because kind of like keeping this up. So I clean it really well again, uh, make sure there's nothing in between uh, and then I put it on again and uh, it's, no, it's still leaking. Um, so another suggestion is that is saying that you shouldn't screw it too tight because if it's too loose, or too tight, both both it will kind of cause some uh, a leakage. And if you really screw it too tight, you may even crack the tank, which is terrible. So I freaked out a little bit, took it apart, double checked, make sure everything's in good good order, no crack, and the glass looked healthy, right? So I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right. And then uh, the funny thing is, like, if I move this, it kind of slides slides around the hole a little bit, like. You don't see the hole exposed. It's still sitting underneath this uh, plastic piece. But then you can move it around a little bit. I was like, wait, that's not right. And then I was also a little bit skeptical that two pieces of plastic like this can be watertight <laughs> and can form a seal. So I looked up regular bulkhead to see maybe there's something missing. And then I check out this brand. Uh, I think this was a Hayward. And I'm really thankful that the, the brand name is on here. And even the size is on here too, it's for a uh, half inch diameter. So it turns out, yes, I was missing a piece. And of course, you guys probably have guessed. I don't even know why I <laughs> did not see this coming. That's why I feel so stupid. I was missing a rubber piece, a rubber gasket. And what I'm guessing is that maybe when the previous owner was cleaning out the tank, the rubber gasket was stuck to the tank and it's so old that um, they just chucked it. So I went on Amazon, did a search. This is a replacement part. It's almost the same, except that this screw part is a little bit longer. Um, but thankfully, the diameter and the gasket seems to be the same. So I'll unscrew the new one and just kind of strip it for parts. And I try to find just this rubber gaskets, uh, but I don't see any. So I just bought the whole unit, which is like $5, no big deal. And because we're the same diameter, it should be no issue. Oops. Right. And there was a... While I was doing my research on uh, leakage, one thing people say to pay attention to is that the rubber gasket should go inside the tank at the top. So it goes in overflow like this. The glass will come here. And then you go underneath, you go underneath the tank. And then we screw this nuts back on. And the glass should sit here. Uh, there have been cases where people actually put the rubber, gas, uh, rubber gasket underneath the tank instead of inside the tank. I mean, it works, but then it's not ideal. People all say that ideally this 
should be inside the tank at the top. Um, and don't screw it on too tight, right? It should be hand tightened and then maybe a quarter to half more turn. So I'll be trying this, uh, actually not tonight, but maybe like uh, in uh, two or three days because I plan to um, spray paint this black, which I'll do a video of because some people may be interested. Uh, because this portion actually sticks out of the overflow and into the tank a little bit. So I wanna kinda make it not as obvious. So I'll, spray, I'll be spraying, spraying paint spray painting this black and then i'll install this and i really don't see anything going wrong on uh, knock on wood there's no wood here so we'll see how it goes but um yeah again this is like a stupid mistake i, I don't even know why i tried to install this without this rubber gasket i should have known something something is missing but um so if your bulkhead is leaking quick troubleshooting would be number one check to see if you're missing any pieces like this rubber gasket but if all the pieces are there some recommendation i see online is that first check to see make sure like um where this rubber gasket is going to sit make sure there's like no sand no dirt no rock there right clean that up also same thing with the bottom just in case uh, number two is that you did not over tighten this um, if you did maybe like loosen this slightly it should be like hand tighten and then quarter to half a turn more um, and some people say that they cannot ever f like fully seal it. There should be, there, there's like a tiny, tiny leak, not even leak, but it's more like a salt creep showing, meaning that there's moisture going through, but usually over, over the period of like two to three weeks, uh, it, it naturally seals by itself because of the salt creek, uh, salt creep, man, sorry, I can't speak tonight. So I guess one good thing that came out of this is that I had a chance to kind of like research bulkhead installation and like a uh, common issue people run into. So it's not all bad. And this is part of the journey, right? Part of the, what, what's fun about this hobby, always learning new things. So hopefully this video um, helps somebody and uh, feel free to laugh at me. <laughs> See you guys.